Welcome everybody to another Roland Zambit tutorial. Today I would like to show you how you can use the audio track. So let's click on the new song. Uh, we are on the drum editor or drum track created as default. Let's um, close the window, disable also the on-screen instrument and also move to the timeline view. Um, let's click and hold on the drum track and let's select delete to remove the track. Now let's click on the plus track and let's add an audio track. So as you can see, um, it's uh, an audio track as you can, uh, as you have uh, uh, an input meter, which is uh, moving as I speak. And um, if you click on it, as we've done in previous tracks, you can reveal, of course, in the options or settings um, that you can apply to that track, like solo, mute, adding automation, recording, and have a look at the meters. Um, first thing we are going, I'm going to show you is how to record. Very simple, arm it, and then let's click on the record button and let's say something. Test. Stop. And remove the uh, recording for army. Let's click play. Test. And that has been recorded, of course. Let's double click on the region for the audio track that has been created. And uh, we go on inside the wave editor, uh, which will show you the um, of the display. It will display the wave in a graphical format. And if you click play, you can see the cursor um, moving. Okay, let's um, also change the looping. So, like so. Okay, let's go back inside. Let's click play. Est. Est. Best. As you can hear, it has recorded also the metronome as uh, um, as um, it was playing. So, what can you do here? Well, first of all, you can uh, change uh, the area that will be played uh, from a looping perspective. You do so, and you can drag like so. Best. And. Um, If you click on the setting here, you can enable the looping as well, like that. So then, so that now when you play, it will play only the region that you selected from a loop perspective. Um, if you go back to this menu, you can enable or not the snapping. So if you, if I disable it, you can see the grid disappearing. And um, this allows you now to move freely uh, from a looping perspective instead of being snap. Uh, let's click undo. Um, what also you can do here is add an automation. And uh, if you look at the drum track uh, tutorial, uh, you have a view on how to add the automation. Then also, as you know by now, having uh, um, seen the previous video, you can en enable further settings, uh, clicking on the bottom left arrow. And this reveals that you can ch um, change the setting for gains. You can also change this setting for stretching. You can uh, enable or disable, or disable the preserve pitch. If you have enabled it, then you can move up and down by a uh, semitone. And uh, when you do so, you have also a reset button. And you can also move up and down by an octave. And you also have the ability to uh, change the bits per minute. Uh, and remember, if you... Uh, go down from a bit, it will try to fit that uh, waveform inside the new bits per minute, and so you will hear an acceleration. Um, <clears throat> let's um, go back to the timeline view, and uh, let's uh, select uh, um, that uh, region, let's click on the setting, let's delete it. The other thing you can do as well is double-clicking on the time uh, timeline, view for that for that audio track and what you can see is that it opens a new window where you have a number of a preset for your uh, uh, for your audio track that you can you can try which is quite interesting so um, let me show you what you can do as an example let's select EDM and let's select, for example, EDM ARP 1A. Let's click on the plus um, sign. And here we have um, 
uh, a sample which has been imported. Let's adjust the looping. Let's click play to hear it. Okay, let's add another audio track and let's double click on it and let's still let's, um, stay with EDM. Let's then add EDM drums A. Let's click on the plus sign. Let's adjust it. Let's add an audio audio track. <clears throat> double click. Reveal the window to select in this case a base A. <clears throat> and let's hear what we have composed very quickly. Usual option if you reveal the settings in uh, this level, uh, which have been displayed before, um, in terms of um, uh, changing the setting corresponding to that particular um, audio track. Um, and I think that's it for the audio track. So it's quite a simple one, but I'm sure uh, additional feature will be added by Roland as, um, as um, time will come. So hope you find this useful and see you next time. Bye.